In my previous two video tutorials, I explained how to make a quadcopter drone using CC3D Open Pilot Flight Controller and the KK2.1.5 Flight Controller. Initially, I started with unbranded 1000 kV BLDC motors and unbranded propellers is these are cheap and almost more than 90% of the beginners start with such unbranded motors and propellers. I made a very fair comparison between the two flight controllers and finally I recommended KK2.1.5 flight controller for the beginners as it's easy to set up and you don't need a computer or laptop. I checked the quadcopter drone stability and it was simply amazing but still it had some issues the motors were really getting hot the motors would suddenly stop and then you can't do anything about it and the next moment the drone is badly crashed you will also see the motors twitching problem a lot if you're not using branded motors and about the propellers I'm sure you might have broken a lot of them because the same thing happened to me and this is the reason I decided to upgrade my quadcopter drone. When selecting a flight controller we spent hours and even days before making a final decision and when it comes to the motors and propellers we just pick unbranded stuff and then we start complaining about the flight controllers. I have been through all this and I'm sharing with you my personal experience. You can watch my previous video for the test results. I will provide a link in the description. In this episode, I'm going to upgrade my quadcopter drone. I'm going to replace these 1000 kV unbranded motors with these DJI 920 kV brushless motors. And I will also replace the unbranded propellers with the DJI propellers. And then we will see if it's going to make any difference. This upgrade is only on the hardware side. The flight controller setup will remain exactly the same. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. You can see all the four unbranded PLDC motors are replaced with the DJI 920 kV motors. The propellers I'm using are the DJI Phantom 3 compatible propellers. These are self-tightening propellers. Simply rotate the propellers by hand to attach or detach. Each propeller weighs 13 grams. If the motor is spinning in the clockwise direction, then the prop should tight in the counter clockwise direction. So that's why we have clockwise and counterclockwise props. You can also see the props are also provided with a big and silver markings. My quadcopter drone is ready. Prior to the flight test, I only did the ESC calibration. I have been flying this drone for a couple of days and I didn't see that twitching problem and the sudden motor stop thing. And the quick movements you can see are because I'm still learning how to fly a drone in self-level mode and aggro mode. I'm just a beginner. So my friends, you have already spent a lot on purchasing a good quadcopter drone frame, flight controller, wireless receiver and transmitter. Then don't save a few bucks when it comes to the motors, props and ESCs. Anyways, flying a drone in the 
Self level mode is very easy. I tried it for a few days just to learn the very basics and now I'm trying to fly this quadcopter drone in the aggro mode which is really difficult and I'm constantly crashing my drone but the motors and props are still doing great. This is the main advantage of using the branded motors and props. One quick tip. If in the future you want to make a racing drone then stop using the self level mode just start flying your drone in the acro mode and this is what I'm doing right now after improving my skills then I will make the racing drone and then I will shift to the FPV drones so that's all for now support me on patreon for more videos I hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching